All right, low carbers, there is a way to have a healthy, tasty breakfast without bacon and eggs. A lot of people always seem to think that's all we eat in the morning. It's not. Today, I made some ricotta crepes topped with sauteed strawberries and some cream. It is tasty, yummy, it smells wonderful, and I'm about to dig in. But before I do that, let me show you how we put this together. All right, this recipe makes about four crepes. So I got uh, my strawberries, which I'm gonna use as a topping. I'm gonna saute the strawberries uh, and I'm gonna add a little bit of mace to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside right now. But the ingredients to make the ricotta crepes are obviously ricotta. I'm using whole milk ricotta, not the, um, or as close to whole milk as possible as you can get. Sometimes it's a little hard to find in a grocery store, but you want the closest to whole milk in your ricotta. I'm using two eggs. I'm using two tablespoons of a sugar alternative that doesn't raise your blood sugar levels very high. I've got some cinnamon and I've got some butter. It's all diced up because I was making another project and I had a bunch of diced butter left over so I figured I'll use it here but it's roughly about three tape three teaspoons or excuse me four teaspoons of butter uh, and then I'm also going to add some vanilla extract for flavoring now the nice things you can also use if you want more of a maple taste to it I don't use maple syrup you can add maple extract instead but I'm using vanilla so with that let's go ahead and just start mixing everything together so I'm going to move my ingredients out of the way so we can go ahead and start the mixing so I got my bowl. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add my ricotta. Just plop it all in there. Start adding my eggs. I'm gonna add my sweetener and then also a cinnamon and then I'm gonna add just a tad of vanilla extract, about half a teaspoon, roughly. That's all added, so all you do now is you just mix. You wanna get it as smooth as possible. So with that, I'm ready to go ahead, get my butter on the pan, and then start making the crepes. All right, uh, each crepe is basically two tablespoons. So all you're gonna do, I got my butter heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and here's the first one. And then I'm gonna add number two. Now it's a crepe, so you want it to be thin. So you can swirl it around a little bit. This is actually pretty thin already. So I'm gonna leave it like this. And what you do is you cook it. I'm cooking it over a medium, a medium heat. So I'm gonna cook it for about a minute to two minutes on one side and then I'll flip it over and I'll cook it for about a minute. Basically you want it to set just like you would a pancake. It is thin. You can see on the outside, like a pancake, it's starting to, you know, you, the batter is starting to thicken up or it's starting to cook. And then on the inside, you know, that's what I'm waiting to cook right now. So in about a minute or two, I'm gonna flip it over. All right, I just flipped the crepe. I did have a little bit of a break in it, and it's very similar to pancakes. You should always want to throw the first one out. They never go quite as right. I'm going to take this one off heat, and then I'm going to go ahead and start making the three other crepes that this batter will make. All right, I got my crepes done, but I'm going to, I browned a little bit of butter, and I'm going to add some strawberries, and I'm just going to saute them just for about a minute or two. I'm not going to do it very long. I'm going to add just a pinch of mace, to give it a little bit of spice, maybe a couple of pinches of mace. Do it a couple. If you don't have mace, you don't have to go out and get it because it certainly can be expensive. It actually, mace comes from, um, it's wrapped around the nutmeg, actually. The nutmeg is actually inside of mace. So you can just use nutmeg or if you want to, cinnamon, or you don't even have to saute them. You can just serve them on top. I'm just doing it to soften them up a little bit. Again, about a minute or two in butter or you can use ghee or even coconut oil if you prefer. So you just want to stir them. They're browning a little bit. I'm going to turn the heat down just a tad. They're done. I'm going to go ahead and top my crepes. All right, I got four crepes. I got my sauteed strawberries on top. 
The last thing I'm going to add for this is clotted cream. You can certainly just go ahead and use whipped cream if you prefer. Make sure it's, you make it yourself and it's low carb. You usually don't find that in the grocery store. But clotted cream uh, isn't made in the United States. It comes from England and it's much thicker cream and has a high, much higher fat content than our creams that we serve in this country. You can see, look how thick it is. I'm just going to put a dollop on top of that. To give you an idea, it'll get softened, but clotted cream is uh, made basically for pastries, pancakes, crepes. So it's just a way to add a little bit more fat to your dish, healthy fat, of course, but also it makes it taste yummy too. It has a much thicker feel to it, obviously, the way that it looks than our traditional heavy creams or heavy whipping creams. So with that, uh, the crepes are about one carb each, which is awesome. The strawberries give you a little bit more carb. That's why I like to do this sort of for brunch or breakfast. Although you can certainly do this as an evening dish. And the, I, but the key is you don't have to just have, like I said, bacon and eggs in the morning. You can have different types of things that are healthy and low carb and delicious as well. If you like what you see, Go ahead and hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and also let me know other types of things you like to make for your breakfast or brunch that's low carb and healthy. And until then, I'll see you.